Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. Hey, before I get into this video, today I want to talk about my thoughts on the Breonna Taylor verdict and how I feel about it. Rest in peace, Breonna Taylor. Uh, I want to talk about it. So before I get into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you want to donate, cash app, and, and the uh, PayPal is in the description. If you don't want to donate, that's fine too. The best way to support the channel is to, you know, like, share, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, <laughs> you know, and comment comment on how you feel about this whole situation and try not to be disrespectful to each other well just don't be disrespectful to each other this page is to respect each other's opinions uh and how y'all feel about certain things but we're gonna get into this so police officers who shot Breonna Taylor, uh, wasn't convicted. Uh, one was, I think it was uh, for him shooting into another apartment. So he really didn't get charged for murder. Uh, so to provide some backstory, Breonna Taylor was killed, I think in March of this year, 2020. Uh, the story that I read before I actually found out all the information was that there was a no knock warrant. They ran to the they went to the wrong house. They uh, proceeded to shoot. She was in a bed sleep and she got killed. That was a story that I heard before I actually went online and read everything. And that's not what happened. And uh, this is not, I'm just going to provide facts of what happened. I'm not going to, uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to sit here and say whether the police officers were wrong or right. I'm just going to provide, I'm just going to provide the facts of what happened. So. People said there was a no knock warrant. That's not true. There was a no knock warrant in the beginning. And right before they went, they actually changed it. That's one. Two, they didn't go to the wrong apartment. They actually had a, a warrant for her arrest. So they didn't go to the wrong apartment. They went to the right, the right apartment. There are several witnesses stating that the police officers knocked on the door and said, police. Someone actually came outside <clears throat> and said and looked and the police told them to go back in the house. Now, I don't know what was said, what, what, who, what's going on, all this stuff. No, so the police told them to go back in the house. That witness came forward and said that they did knock. The police didn't get any answer, so they pursued to use the battering ram. <clears throat> Excuse me. They pursued to use the battering ram, and they rammed in the door. Upon entry, there were several shots. Now, some say, some some say that there were one. Some say there were ten. Some say that it was a shot through the door. But the police officers were shot at. That's what happened. The police officers returned fire. Brianna Taylor got caught in the crossfire. She got killed. They were standing in the hallway and they got killed. She got killed. Now, here's, here's uh, where I want to pause this and give my opinion on this. Rest in peace to Breonna Taylor. Um, I think this was a, a mistaken case of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, I don't think that Breonna Taylor should have died. I believe that uh, if they were serving a warrant, um, 
I don't know what they were serving a warrant for, but I know they were serving a warrant. If they were serving a warrant, obviously they wasn't coming to kill anyone. So I'm gonna speak from the, the point of view of the man of her of her boyfriend at the time who said that who said that um he fired because he didn't know who it was. Now Everybody got to stop this. Breonna Taylor was sleeping in the bed alone. That's not true. That's not true. There's already people confirming that that that's not true. So y'all need to stop. Stop this. Uh, she was in the bed sleep and she was innocent. And this will happen. And she got killed. And I'm not disrespecting her in any way. I'm just saying I'm just providing y'all what actually happened. The facts. So. The guy said her boyfriend at the time, I don't remember his name. He said that there were knocks at the door and he was saying, who is it? They never answered. They were still knocking and she was saying, who is it? They were screaming to the top of their lungs. Who is it? Who is it? Screaming. Who is it now? I don't know why they were screaming. It could be uh, she was screaming because. I don't know. I actually can't figure out why the guy said they were screaming to the top of their lungs. Who is it now? Well, then again, I can can think of that because I remember when I was younger, people used to knock on, on my door and my mom used to scream. Who is it? Who is it? So I, I, I can understand that. So put that out the way. He said that they bust through the door. Now, here's my thing. When they bust through the door, he said that he didn't know who it was, so he started shooting. He hit one of the police officers in the leg. The police officers returned fire. Rihanna Taylor got caught in the crossfire. She got killed. She got killed. Now, let me pause it there. <clears throat> the mainstream media is telling everybody this. Now they're starting to tell the truth because they have no choice but to tell the truth about what actually happened because they don't want to look bad. And a lot of times the reason why they're lying to black people in particular is because they know that black people don't really pay attention and don't really seek out all the information. We just go off of what the media tells us because we're impressionable. They playing off of that. This has nothing to do with how I actually feel about Brianna Taylor getting killed because I don't think that she should get killed or should have got killed. I'm just saying what actually happened. And I think that black people need to start looking at stuff Instead of j jumping into it head first, because a lot of times we jump into stuff head first and then we realize that we were being played and the media does this to us all the time, all the time. They know it's a hot button for us. So they keep pressing that hot button, pressing that hot button because they know that black people are going to go off as soon as you mention white cop kills black person. That's what they mentioned. They don't tell you what actually happened. They don't tell you that some of these people are crooks or career criminals. They don't tell you that. It doesn't mean that a person should should have got killed because they're a career criminal. That don't mean that. But you have to ask yourself if you put yourself in dangerous situations all the time. What do you think is going to happen? And it's not to justify anyone getting killed. I'm just speaking on what actually would happen. If I drive my car with no air in my tire every day, I'm not expecting to get into a car accident one day. I'm not expecting that or to be pulled over. This is the life that some people live now. Back to Breonna Taylor. 
Some say that her boyfriend used her as a human shield because she was shot and he didn't get killed. And they lit the place up, they said. I don't know if he used her as a human shield. I don't. I highly doubt it. I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say that maybe she, since it was her place, maybe she was the one in the front screaming to the top of her lungs. Or maybe she thought that it was her ex-boyfriend who they, who, uh, another story says that her ex-boyfriend, she was thinking that her ex-boyfriend was coming there. So maybe she thought it was her ex-boyfriend and she thought that maybe she can calm him down. Who knows? Well, this is what happened. So she gets killed. Police officers get off riots in the streets. Everybody riots. Everybody goes off. Everybody goes crazy. And CNN, Fox News, uh, MSNBC, not MSNBC, I'm sorry. CNN, Fox News, CNN of all places, CNN comes out and tells the truth about what actually happens. Now, before I get into MSNBC and some of the comments that a lot of these disgusting people said about their own kind, it's disgusting. So before I get into that, I want to talk about, uh, <clears throat> I want to actually talk about the jury. See, this is the thing. Attorney General Black, jury, the jury found them not guilty. These are people, your peers. These are your peers. It's really nothing you can say. If the jury finds the police officers not guilty and, and the uh, attorney general finds them, find them not guilty, what can you really say? You can't say that this was a case of the system not working or if this was racism. You can't say that. You can't say that because it was a it was her getting caught in a crossfire. The man shot at the police first. He admitted that. He shot first. Even if you try to use the castle doctrine and say, oh, well, he was protecting his home. Well, according to them, it wasn't his home. That's number one. Number two, they weren't married. Number three, if he was protecting his home, you can't blame the police officers who were knocking, and he admitted that, who were knocking, and they shot. If you shoot at a police officer, they're going to return fire. So you should not be blaming the police on Breonna Taylor's murder. You should be blaming her boyfriend. Who shot first? He didn't shoot to protect her because they didn't shoot at him first. He didn't shoot to protect her. He shot because he didn't know who it was. It just so happens it was the police. Now, he said he didn't know who it was. But it was multiple people saying that the police were screaming, police, the police, the police. Now, why are these people going to lie? What do they have to lie for? Why? They didn't like if they, they didn't like her? As you're saying? What are they lying for? These people said that the police said it was the police. It's just, uh, that's just what it is. <clears throat> I don't think that this girl was murdered. I think she was killed in the crossfire. That's just the facts. You can't, we can't, we gotta stop. Acting as if like because we feel a certain way or because certain things happen to certain people before that this is how it's a go ongoing thing. Listen, I wish y'all stop this. I wish the media stop making y'all believe that black people are living under tyranny. We're living under uh, under uh, under this regime that keeps us down. No. No, 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 no. If you want to talk about us being kept down or, or under, or, under a, a, a regime or real rights, white supremacy, take that back. 
to those days where we had where that really actually happened. Where we were getting sprayed by fire holes in the streets. Where we were getting lynched and hung and dogs were that was white supremacy. I'm not saying again, this is not to justify. This is not to justify the police officers killing people or murdering people. But I wish you guys wake up and stop believing that this is the normal thing. It's not. These are circumstances that happen because people put themselves in these positions. Again, this is not to disrespect Breonna Taylor, but let's just be honest. If Breonna Taylor has surrounded herself with better people and then she got killed by or murdered by a police officer, we can have a better argument and say, you know what? You know what? She were killed. She, she got murdered by the police. If she was actually sleeping in her bed and the police officers came and shot her, we can have a say, oh, no, that's a better argument. But there are the, on the paper, her name is on there, for a warrant for her. And they went to the right place and knocked on the door. The dude shot at the police officers first. He admitted this. And he admitted that she was a part of the drug game. Now, I don't know if she was. I'm just giving y'all what he said. Shot through the door or shot at the police and the police returned fire and she was killed. This wasn't a lynching. People were saying, oh, this was a lynching. How? How was this a lynching? Because if it was a lynching, they, don't you think they would have killed him too? Why didn't he die? He was black. This is my this is my thing with y'all. Y'all grab onto stuff and y'all run with it. And then y'all burn up everything and burn down everything. Not knowing, just knowing that there are things that you are polluting people moving forward. Just know that all you preachers out there who are preaching hate. I'm listen, I'm not a religious person, not at all. But if you are a religious person and you are talking about hate, you are not a religious person, period. If you're telling people to do stuff, you you are not a religious person. And I wish y'all stop listening to them. Rest in peace to Breonna Taylor. She got caught in the crossfire. And I think that the media knew this for a long time and they suppressed this information until now. And then they let y'all go off, let y'all riot in the streets. And then when you try to talk to y'all, some of y'all out there, you say, hey, listen, this is actually what happened. No, nah, no, nah, y'all don't want to hear it because y'all been told y'all been suppressed from this information for so long for all all of this time. Now, is it right that she died? No. So please, please. I am not saying that this woman, this black woman, pretty black woman, too. She's actually beautiful. Black woman should have died. There's no way she should have died. I'm saying that you get caught up in the crossfire if someone shoots at the police. They're going to return fire. I can't stress that enough. You can't shoot at the police and they say, no, nah, chill. They're not going to do that because guess what? They're going to think that if you're shooting at them, it's more of you shooting. That's it. Hey, man, listen, I can't stress it enough. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. I really, really wish. Well, we're going to get it right. We're going to get it right. I believe that I believe that us as black people are going to get it right. I believe that we're starting to wake up now and we're starting to ask, look at more information. I'm going to tell you all right now. Rioting, looting, all that. It's not going to change anything. It's not going to. The only thing that's going to do is actually put us in a worse situation. Because when you tend to riot, you tend to riot your own. 
you tend to loot your own. And what happens? Now, the unemployment goes down. The unemployment goes up. You don't have any, you have no jobs. You have nowhere to go, nowhere to work, no recreation centers, no, nothing. Everything is burned down. Everything is, is robbed. Then you have people who actually come in these communities and they end up leaving from these communities because of these type of situations. You got to ask yourself. You're doing all this for what? <clears throat> for what? And it's nothing wrong with protesting, but you have to know what you're protesting for because a lot of us out here do not know why we're protesting. We just protest. We don't know. And if you say, oh, it's because of systemic racism or oh, because of this or oh, because of that. But then when you ask, when you ask some of these people, well, what is that? They can't even explain it to you. They'll tell you, they'll give you some, some cookie cutter, lame answer. Oh, oh, because, because uh, I try to get a job and they didn't hire me. Well, what's on your record? Oh, I got a couple of charges. Well, so what? Rest in peace, Breonna Taylor, man. Torture talk. It's a very sad situation because I hate to be the person that is in this position where I have to provide facts or what actually happened. And it kind of makes me look like I'm going against people. And that's what I wanted to talk about real quick. At all, this, all the black news anchors on MSNBC, I love y'all because y'all black, but y'all disgusting. Y'all disgusting. And and y'all y'all very disgusting. Very disgusting. And and a lot of not and let me tell y'all something too, which really, which really pisses me off. Is the fact that y'all don't support real black, y'all don't support all black people. And y'all clearly say that. Oh, he's skin folk, not kin folk. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. I don't care what you tell, say. That's disgusting. I don't care. If I have a disagreement with someone, I am not going to downgrade them from being black because we have a disagreement. Oh, he's not for us. Well, you're not for us either. If you're, dis if you're trying to clearly separate people, that is worse to me. That's worse than anything that you can do to a black person. If you say another black person is not black because you have a disagree with, with them, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. You can't be, oh, if he, oh, he's our brother. We're together. You can't do that. And you support Joe Biden, who clearly doesn't like black people. That's my problem. That's my problem. Whether people say, oh, Trump don't like black people either. But you don't have any evidence on Trump not liking black people. I got abundance of evidence on how Biden doesn't like black people. Him and the Clintons. This is my problem with y'all and MSNBC. Y'all know the facts, but yet and still y'all sit here and act as if y'all don't. Y'all know. Is that a game? You know exactly what's going on. Y'all know. If it's and to, to say that that man is not black because he had you had a disagree or because he's a Republican. Oh, that's what it is. Because he's a conservative. He's a Republican. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, I seen somebody trying to link. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, he's married to such and such granddaughter. And this is why he he the verdict was like, no, no. Like, come on. Y'all disgusting. I love y'all as because y'all black. But some of y'all people in the mainstream media that's black, y'all are disgusting. Y'all should have said, hey, listen, this is my this is me. Say, hey, listen. I just I just disagree with the verdict. I think that maybe they could have did a little bit a little more, a um, little more. You know, they could have did a little better. But I'm not going to sit here and say that that man isn't black or he's skin folk. That's disgusting. That's worse than calling somebody a nigger from a white person calling somebody a nigger. That's worse than that. Because it's coming from your own kind. 
Where did you get that from anyway? Torture talk, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Rest in peace, Rihanna Taylor.